It's been two weeks since a fire swept through this home in Whitefield, killing a 64 year old woman. The Security Fire Protection District says the first crew that arrived on scene consisted of one firefighter on a truck. Now we do send two to three fire trucks on a structure fire now. You got to keep in mind is that still has only one firefighter on it. In 2011, Janino says his district responded to 3,200 calls for service. Compare that to 1990 when the district responded to only 900 calls for service. Despite the increase, he says the department is currently staffed with the same number of paid personnel as in 1990. We do have volunteers, so 90% of the time there is one paid firefighter on the truck because volunteers do have their own jobs. Firefighters say the lack of staff is severely hampering their ability to provide the safest and most reliable service to the community. If passed, they say the money will be used to increase personnel and nothing else. The way you got to look at it is if you were to call in a medical emergency or a loved one, would you want one firefighter helping a loved one to do CPR on that person? Um, two is safety for our firefighters when we're on a structure fire. This isn't the first time Security Fire has asked for a mill levy increase, having been turned down in the past. This time around, though, it appears many voters are in favor. I know a lot of people are concerned about the Amendment 64, but this one seems to be more important than that, in my opinion. If it's helping things, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. As long as it's not too drastic of an increase.